Hello and welcome to EverQuest 2 and uh, Voxel's Quest is the name of the series and we're gonna continue where we were last time. So it has been like four weeks since I've played the game. I took a little vacation and uh, last thing we did from what I can remember we talked to this guy Hamish Felderham and he was like go find my apprentice. His apprentice is over there. Uh, how we get there, I don't, don't remember. Uh, so this is going to be fun. Uh, there's also another one we need to go down here and find. So that's uh, what we're going to be doing today. So yeah, I took a uh, supply crate just sitting here. I uh, took a little time off for uh, playing Teak and uh, just enjoying myself, right? Doing, uh, doing nothing. So now we got to get back to making videos and uh, continuing this uh, this character in EverQuest 2. So let's go to this guy right here first because it seems to be the easiest thing to get started with here. Now, I believe we have some upgrades to do. We'll do that here in a second once we uh, take care of this. All right, Trini a Sweet Doe, so we need to find her. Oh, there we go. How's it? All right, so we can accept this quest right here. We got one gold for that. I found Trini Sweet Doe and she is in good health. Apparently some granite back elder apes attacked her. I may choose to help her out. Oh, you startled me. Oh my, I'm so angry. I could tear my hair out. Those apes are terrible brutish apes. Easy now. Calm yourself. What happened? What's wrong? Those apes made off with my bucket of berries. I spent all morning collecting them from the bushes here. And these mountains only to be assaulted by those overgrown monkeys, berries. Yes, you see, the Iron Toe Brigade has commissioned me to bake pies for those soldiers. It's quite an honor, really. Dwarves can be awful picky when it comes to pastries, you know. Actually, I didn't know that. Can you? Help? Can I help you in any sort of way? In fact, you can. I need you to teach those accursed granite backs a lesson they'll never forget. This is the only way I'll be able to go back and safely pick a new bucket of berries. Can I can reward you for your time. I'll be happy to. All right, we're going to get some uh, butcher block berry pie. 94 silver. And uh, yeah, this is a significantly better food too. So <laughs> let's accept that. Thank you, traveler. It's the most, it is most kind of you to assist. You can find the elder granite backs north of here. I'm off then. All right, so this guy over here has a, uh, looks like he's an ogre. Has a quest. Ew, the mighty warlord. May mortals grovel at the feet of Ralos Zek as he grants favor to his most devoted. Who are you? I am Trozak Ripscar of the Slayer Maradon the Wicked, son of Ulthron Slayer of Demetrius, the Mighty. Who dare speak with me, the deadliest Ralosian warrior to ever set foot on these lands? I am Voxel. Let's see. Slayer of Krukikul. I don't know. Remember that one? Slayer of Yarp Snarl. Defender of all that is good and just. I am Slayer of Yarp Snarl. Hmm, you don't look like you could kill time. <laughs> now, run away. I'm about to challenge the Curical tribe's best warrior to a duel. Defeating such an enemy grants me favor, favor, favor. In the eyes of my warlord, Ralos Zek, you underestimate my abilities considerably. Name your challenge and I will conquer it easily. Prove yourself then. Travel north from Slag Lore Peak and find the Kruiki camp. Slay several carvers and bashers. They seem like they would present a worthy challenge to someone like you. How will I know? How will you know if I was successful? Return to me when you have slaughtered a great deal of those wretched louts. Present me their scalps and I will know you are indeed a fierce warrior. Very well. All right, so this is a level 31 quest. Uh, we are currently 24, so let's get a little, a little rough, I would expect. 
Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Now we need to go due north here, I think. Uh, so we need to find granite back apes. These are all like red to me. This is not this is not where we want to be. Uh, I think we need to fall back. Just like definitely <laughs> jumped in difficulty right there. I don't want to. There we go. Here's some these guys. All right, this is perfect. All right, blighted horde. Magic. Magic. Light tap. Dooming darkness. Assault a lot. He's just gonna fall to the ground here in a second. Or not. Jeez. Now, I got some comments on one of my videos about, uh, apparently this night pet is not the best to use. I remember I on Blaze told me something about that also. Uh, I need to be using different pets. So that might be something we need to look at. I know I got some skills I need to upgrade too. So we'll take a, take a look at that, but I mean... From, from what I'm doing right now, this seems this pet seems fine. Uh, the pet heal that we do every so often, whatever that is. Like, uh, I mean, I feel like it's a good a good spell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what is the best. I don't have much experience with it yet, but I mean, I feel like this is just fine. These are what level 28. I'm level 24. I'm, t you know, I'm not really taking damage. My pet is just doing his thing. I life tapped and I lost life. I'm losing life still. I don't know. Do I got like a dot on or something? That's uh, something I do just don't kind of like is that it's kind of like these informational status effects are not very prominent. I wish there was a little bit more information that I can glean from uh, what is going on. Here we go. I don't think this pet heal is doing much right now. Either. Like healing for 13. There we go. Come on. Drop down. Alright, we got... Actually, he's down. Let's see here, let's get this guy. He seems to be easiest. But uh, a new uh, TLP server launched for EverQuest 2. Uh, I believe it's um, called Origins or something like that. Um, Anashi Su, I think, I think is what it was. I, I did a whole video <laughs> for some AI thing to do the pronunciation. I can't remember at this point. But, uh, definitely uh, looks interesting. I know there's uh, some, you know, a bunch of people playing it, but I just, I can't, I can't justify leaving this guy and starting over at level one and doing the exact same stuff again, especially with my uh, my playtime like once or, once or twice a week on these guys. It's just like I don't have the time for that. I did start playing on the uh, TLP for. Uh, EverQuest 1, the Teak server with a random loot. That was pretty fun. Uh, but obviously there's quite a quite quite a lot of work to uh, you know build a new character and all that. Play on a different server. It's just a lot more work than I really wanted to invest, so I don't know how much more I'm gonna be doing that. I didn't do really any videos, I did a a setup guide on a 50 monk, and then I switched. As soon as I made that video, I switched to a necromancer. Uh, so I just kind of gave up on that. Like I don't know, raiding on a monk in classic was just. I felt extremely boring. So I was just like, I'm not gonna waste my time with this anymore. All right, we can go back here and turn these berries in. It looks like. Or whatever we did to uh, this area. Ape is enough is the quest. Hail her. You're back. Tell me, did you take care of those 
Darn dirty apes. Indeed, I did. Um, you mentioned something about my reward? Yes. Oh dear, of course. Here. Thank you for your help. Every day is a good day for pie. All right, one gold and five butcher block pies. So if we uh, take those pies, we can put them in our pie hole. There we go. And we can take this food. We'll just put it like right there. Theoretically. I don't know if these are the same thing, are they? All right, one's a brash and one's plain bread. I don't <laughs> got me there. Same icon, though. All right. Well, that's done. Now, let's take a look at the map here. We need to go... I think we need to go back this way. In all honesty, there's a, a cave somewhere right here. And we'll go like that, because this was all red mobs. And I don't think that's going to be a smart way to go. This is the right way, right? It's the broken fields. What the hell? Oh, it's 32 mobs over here. Oh, there's some verti verticality here. That's kind of nice. Supply crate. All right, we need to go through this little canyon here. I think this is where we were last time. All these different uh, earth elemental looking things are around this area. But there's the cave right there. I suspect there's a cave over here, uh, but I'm just not 100% sure that is going to be uh, a viable option. Alright, we got more collectibles here. A bunch of mobs. Uh, decent, uh, decent experience here, I guess. We're like, what, almost 25? So that'll make it pretty good. Now, we're in the cave. We should be able to... I guess there's no levels to the, the map. Uh, I was hoping there'd be like a uh, internal map, you know what I mean? So I could kind of see where we're going, but uh, I guess not. All right. This guy right here looks like he's uh, needs us to talk to him. Ale. You able to salvage anything? Oof, here you go. Let's see. Horseshoes, axe handles, mustache, wax. Bah, where's all the woolen cloth? Woolen cloth? Hi, me boys out here freezing our beards off every night. I can't have them all coming down with colds. I need my men to be as healthy and strong as they can. You never know when we might receive word that it's finally time to strike out and reclaim Caladam for ourselves. What shall we do? Well, I've already sent Grady off to shear as many sheep as he can. However, I fear that might be enough. What else can we use? Well, the granite pack apes have some pretty remarkable hides. Why don't you go skin a few of them and bring their hides back? I can do that. All right, we're going to get uh, a trinket of dwarven tradition. Go ahead and accept that. Uh, we also picked up a face... A facet of tribal ceremonies, which is a earring... That is an upgrade. Perfect. And then, uh, thanks my friend. Make sure you only skin the elder granitebacks. The old other, the older apes are tougher than the, the older the ape, the tougher the hide. And I think I might have saw some earlier this morning south of West Fort Iron Toe. Near the quarry. All right. Yeah, that thing here. So let's open this up real quick. I had an earring. <laughs> I think it's this thing right here, right? All right, so if we open that up. What is this one here? 620. 6-2. 630. All right, we're going to replace this thing. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out my inventory sooner or later. Now... Let's look here. So we need to go back that other way. Oh, these are 28. There's another cave over there. Oh, okay. I think that might, might work for us. Let's try this. Let's see if we can skirt past all this stuff here. Alright, 
what do we got here? We got a mine. All right. Where the hell is this taking us? <laughs> All right, here's somebody we need to talk to. Uh, Iron Toe Foreman. For woman. I'm sorry there. What do you need? I'm here to collect the requisition list. Ah, here you go. Thank you very much. That was easy. <laughs> that was extremely easy. All right. Now, oh, let's go in here. There's a guy. All right. Hell. I'm here for the what, requis requisition list. There you go. Ah, so you guys tell us we don't have to have the budget. Now I know the drill. Here you go. All right. Nice. This is now pretty well. Oh, there's something down this way. Oh, here he is. All right. Hey, Foreman. Hey. -o. Hello. Yes, I'm here for the list. There you go. Thank you. All right, and we got one more guy somewhere in this cave. In theory, not here. There he is, Fagon Jornsoff, apprentice geomancer. Hello, Filderham sent you, didn't he? I have no time to mess with the likes of you. Minions attack. Minions, what? So, take the journal, quest reward, accept. All right, I need to read his journal. Examine. All right, the small, this small field journal is filled with detailed drawings of elemental beings being served as notes regarding geological ir irregularities found in the Butcher Block Mountains. One note at the end catches your interest. Read the note. Uh, the time is at hand that fool Felderham leaves on the morrow for Ke uh, Kelvin and has left me in charge as we agreed upon in advance with my employer XG. The construct army will be reprogrammed at once and those still left in the quarry will be eliminated. All right, let's put the journal away and we need to go back to uh, Felderham. So, take a look at the map here. I mean, is there a way out if I just like keep going down this way? Am I gonna be at this chessboard thing? I am. All right. Let's see if we can like skirt around all this stuff. It's red. I mean, I guess if we have a mount, we should be able to run it. I'm just not 100% sure how that's going to work. Let's just run. Go, go, go. Your snarls. Oh my god, run. I feel like they're attacking me, but I don't know. Oh my god, it's a whole Yarp snarl village. Oh my gosh. This is not what I signed up for. Alright, there we go. Somehow nothing aggroed on us, uh, unexpectedly. Alright, so we need to talk to, uh, that guy, but what? we can kill these elders real quick. I guess we would have had an overlap uh, with that quest from the other lady, so that's good to know. I wouldn't have had the supply crate, so it's kind of like weird. Weird timing there. All 
Alright, one of ten. I mean, I feel like we're pretty strong as the necromancer here. And I don't feel like maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't feel like there's anything any negative going on. What is all these? All have the same icons. They all have the same damn icons. Look at that. And see and vis and ultra vision. Oh my god, what the hell? Alright, that is. Oh, that is blinding. That hurts my eyes. What? What on earth would you want ultra vision for? It's nowhere near as good as the ultra vision classic. How can I turn this off? Click it. There we go. Cancel that junk. Oh my god. That was... Maybe I'm just too old. You conferred two experience into AA experience. Nice. Very nice. And I do have some points we can mess with here in a second. Let's do that. I was gonna wait till 25, but I feel like I've, <laughs> there might be something I can get out of that that'll make me a little stronger. Alright, so. Key was that. There we go. L. Alright, so 10% of my experience is going to AAs, apparently. Uh, alternate advancement here. I thought I had this, like, planned out. Yeah, okay, I've already spent all those points. Yeah, those are ten. Oh, what do we want here? It's, like, you know, kind of hard to, uh... decide on some of these skills, you know what I mean? Reduce the power cost of your group spells by 1%. Yeah, I max out that one. I max out critical chance. Spent 9% of the spell damage you receive. That sounds boring. Oh, this lets me heal people, but it ta it damages the pet. All right, I don't need that. None of these are like interesting to me. <laughs> Is there something over here I can get? All right, we want that one, I think. All right, we'll do this. Enhanced soul rot. Increase the damage potency of that reduce the duration oh i can put more points how many points do i have where is okay one more all right that's taken care of commit all right <laughs> it's already committed now necromancer training all right at level 24 we get to pick one of these and it will give us the Grand Master version? Okay. Hey. Hold on. So rods. I think Blighted Horde is the, the, the option here. <laughs> I'm not sure what the difference is between of these, right? There's like no no number difference. So let's just pick it. Why not? Why? Oh, I'm currently researching out, so I can't do that. So what about life tap? What is it? I mean, why not? Let's just do it. I'm sure these can be reset, hopefully. 
and we can figure it out later. Because I'd have to wait like, I think 12 hours it said to research that spell. It does more damage? 397 damage and heals me for half that. I think that's kind of nice. Alright, we need four more of these. So we, we're full life anyway. I need the new pet heal. That's what I I think that would make it, uh... Make things a lot easier. So, uh... Here. Exposed to venom. From what I understand, I'm supposed to spam soul rot. Is like... The... The... Rotation. Just like spam it as much as possible. So there, it's got a. It's got a duration that's just not very long. So. It seems to be working like that way. I have no idea. Right, two more to go. Look at that, we're almost 25. Let's get the Blighted Horde on here. I'll just keep upgrading that. So you, if you do, I think it's L and F A. You can, if you hit K, you can upgrade your spells over here. I think you can only do like one at a time, so I'll start researching. You're currently really researching this. If you continue, 10 minutes. And six seconds will be credit to your new spell. No. And then you can pay uh, daybreak points to uh, speed that up. So, <laughs> uh, definitely interesting. Uh, I don't know much about it. I think it just gives me the next rank of the spell. But, I'm still, uh, I'm still learning about that. one should finish up and then we need to just spin up here and talk to this guy and 25 all right what is this we got a new spell mark of mortality increased damage to target oh that's nice let's put that like there what was the other one howl of the damned two apprentice uh, Howl the Damned Grand Master. <laughs> uh, 34.9. Yeah, so the Grand Master one's better than this one. Alright, that's nice. Alright, uh, let's make our way back over here to Mr. Amish. He's right at this arc. Hello. Hail. Friend, you return, but alas, Beagon is not at your side. Tell me, is he dead? Far from it. I found him in a mine. When I asked him about the incident at the quarry, he disappeared and sent his minions after me. This cannot be. Fergon is my most trusted student. <laughs> I think I leveled up something. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got an AA point. Okay. Quest reward. Uh, 68 silver. I'm afraid your people has deceived you. He dropped his journal just before he teleported away. Have a look at it yourself. Let me see that. No, Phaegon, how could you? This text is written in Cerulean. He's been working for the very enemy I thought we were both fighting against. Who is this XG that he speaks of? I have no idea. Friend, I beg you, we must stop Fiagan before it does more harm to our cause. Are you willing to help me one more time? Yes, I will aid your cause. 
All right, we're going to pick up a new cloak that is, uh, looks to be an upgrade, so that's been nice. All right, accept that. Excellent. I need you, I thank you, adventurer. We need to come up with a way to lure Vegan out of hiding. What do you propose? Here, take this estate. Take heed not to drop it. Go to the forest near the entrance to Caladam and drive it into the ground. Once it comes in contact with the earth, it will give off a geo arcanic tremor. This will ensure to attract the attention of Fiagon. When he comes to investigate, you must you must put an end to my apprentice's treachery. However, you can. I am I understand. I'm sorry for the loss of your apprentice. All right. Where on earth do they want us to drop this? I guess over here. I'm, uh, I'm interested. <laughs> I guess we drop this guy real quick. Uh, let's see, it was like right down here, right? There's a griffin right here, so I guess we can tell him fly around the zone. Oh, hey, this guy's got a quest for me. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Alright, what are you? A rat man. Ek Rylib. Oh, how I hate the dragonsies. They come after Anik, and you know, they yes, they try to carry me away and eat me. Dragons in the Butcher Block Mountains? Yes, green dragonsies. They, not the biggest dragonsies, and can never seem, but they must be the hungriest. They try to eat me. Oh, you mean the emerald dregs? Haha, <laughs> bet they look tasty snack to them. <laughs> Inik is no snack. You, you teach dragonsies not to try to eat Inik, yes? I give you shiny things if you do it. Fine. I can take care of those dregs for you. All right, so this is a 32 quest. We'll go ahead and accept that. Yay, and he can give you Dragon Z's the big hurt. And if they don't come after me no more, the Dragon Z's fly around the burning trees. You go there and give them death. Yes? I'll be back in a jiff. All right. That was a little interesting. All right, is this... Oh, we gotta go in front of Caladam. Alright, where's Caladam at? I was going- I went the whole damn wrong way. I thought it said the forest by Keelan. Kelvin. Alright, so it's a long run. I'm gonna go ahead and run, and we'll be there in a moment. Alright, we're here at East Fort Iron Tail. We can turn in that ape quest. Good to see you again, friend. Have you brought me everything I asked for? Yes, here are the hides you requested. Great, I'll give this to our tailors right away. They should be able to start making cold weather clothing from these hides immediately. Anything else I can do? Not at this time, friend, I'll tell you what. I know Payax Ormizyar <laughs> has been up to his ears in the outpost security matters. Maybe you can offer him services. Great. Uh, try looking around West Fort Irontoe. That's where I saw him last. Good to know. All right, so we get a, a goblin trinket here, which is a charm. Uh, which will not be an upgrade, unfortunately, except that. All right, so where are we at now? We need to keep going. North here. And, uh, we should be at Caladam, like, right over here. Man, these mobs are high level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed <laughs> I feel like I'm... I feel like I uh, missed something here. Like I missed a quest hub or something. Alright, there we go. There's Caladam, some birds flying around, bats, whatever those are. There's an Emerald Drake. I thought I had a quest to kill Emerald Drakes. Mature ones, I guess. These are not the same ones. Alright. 
it's humming, so can I click it? There he is, right over here. Goodbye, buddy. That was a rat, man. Oh, jeez. All right. Get this guy down. One down. Oh man, look at the dots just take this guy down. It's crazy. And uh, the other one. Down. All right. <laughs> that was easy enough. Uh, now we need to go all the way back and speak to that guy again. Oh my gosh. Let's go this way. Because I know. I'm trying to think here. I think it told me to go to here for another quest, so. And we can also just cut through the uh, cave system there. So we'll see how that works. Right, there is the guy I think we're looking for right there, Pyaxie. Right there. Alright, let's talk to him. You come quick. You're right, help. Yes, right here to help. Alright, so there's no time to waste. The Kruliki are becoming more brazen with their attacks. I need you to head north and call their numbers right now. Okay, I'm on it. This is, uh... This is a level 30 quest. We're going to get a new robe, though, so that's going to be nice. Level 30, though. I don't think we'll be able to do that right away. I might have to, like, kind of do some grinding or something. I don't know. Let's go through here. And then straight through into this area. Now we have a new quest here. Hail him. Hi there, what can I do for you? Oh, nothing, just exploring. Sounds exciting. Well, since you're here, why don't I take a look around the mine then? Just be careful not to be get behind anyone while they're swinging their pickaxe. Okay, I'll be careful. Uh, materials full, well, everything really. Weapons, armor, siege equipment, culture, cuttery. Uh, you think of it, you think of it would more likely made, made from a using ore in this your mine. Unfortunately, if we don't retake Kaladem soon, we'll be only much ore left to reinforce our efforts. It's a shame. Maybe I can help. There's been another... There has to be another mine around here. Oh, there is. But it would be more dangerous to obtain than a pass to how drunken dwarves ale. See, inside of Kaladam, if we had unli we had unlimited supply of ore, the best round. But if I could get a hold of some of that ore, it would be definitely buy some time. Would make a better equipment too. Are you suggesting you would get it? Just tell me what the ore looks like and I'll get it for you. Indeed, you're a hero fit for songs. The ore is a blue in color, almost like a crystal. The mine was once called Everhot Mine, and it is most likely filled with goblins now. The foul creatures, do me a favor and take out the goblin miners while you're in there. Not only will it hurt their manufacturing capabilities, but I'll personally feel better knowing our mine. They're that much more emptier. Steal some ore from them or mine it yourself you, if you have the capability. I shall return shortly with your ore, Telic. There we go. So this is a uh, level 34 quest. Jeez. Uh, I will. Okay, jeez. There's another one right here. Delma Ore Seeker. Hello. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, who is that next to you? Is he okay? Oh, my, that's my good, good for nothing husband. Him and his buddies had a few too many last night. Now he's paying for it. Been sick all morning. That's terrible. Yes, now he's completely useless to the rest of the day. I swear I need to find me a new husband or a, use, a useful husband. Maybe I can help. Perhaps I know a great hangover remedy. Some, something my mother taught me, but it requires some strange ingredients. Last I heard, they could only be found in our lost city. Will you be in, willing to venture into Kaladim? Of course, what do you need? Alright, another 34 quest. Alright. 
Oh, splendid. Then he may actually be some use to me. Three ingredients I need are first fabled gray bloom mushroom from the gray bloom farm. It can only be found on this strool fungus men you find in that area. Second, I'll need a single egg. Doesn't matter what kind of egg. Just imagine plenty of storm hammer keep. Check the null brewers. They may be carrying a few. Uh, those be a queer race. Them gnolls always put in their strangest fluff in their drinks. And the third, third ingredient of what holds the concoction together, it's some troglodyte saliva. Sounds disgusting, I know, but it doesn't taste all that bad if you hold your nose close. I hear the troglodytes are mining the s slaves in Galadam. I'd search for them anywhere there are miners. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. I'll be back in no time, of course. Alright, so that is, uh, that is a dungeon quest, I guess. Heroic quest. So we're going to turn those off. I don't want to track those. Uh, let's see here. I need to return to Argo. Alright, where is Argo? Argo's way over there. Alright, let's go turn this into, uh, the Hamish guy real quick. And uh, then we'll go turn in the list at the other guy. This is uh, <laughs> quite a bit of running around here. And uh, it keeps giving me quests that are higher and higher level. That's not the right way. Which is... Uh, which is weird. <laughs> but I suspect I missed something in the quest line here that's... Uh, not getting me from uh, 25 to 30, so that's something I suspect. I don't think grinding these mobs is even worth doing either. I don't think they yield enough experience to really grind them, uh, but we'll figure it out here in a minute. There we go. Looks like right here. Is it done? Have you stopped, Feagon? He acts. His acts of treachery, treachery, have been stopped. Then it's done. Now perhaps I can begin to repair all the damage that has been caused. I thank you again for your efforts. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. All right, we got a new cloak, which is an upgrade. Thank you. All right, <laughs> that's good. Swap that cloak on, and. uh Oh, it's got a new graphic. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, let's take a look here. Now, there's a griffin station here and a griffin station there. So if we run here, I think this is closer. We could probably, probably take the griffin there. I don't know. I don't know. I truly don't. And if we didn't, we wasted our time running all this way because it would have been about equal distance to go there. But, uh, you know. We'll see. <laughs> see how this goes. All right. There's the Griffin Rider guy. He's up the top. Hey, buddy. I greet you. I would like to travel to the Highland Outpost next. There we go. Awesome. So we can fly our little Griffin over there. Get a little nice. Aerial view here. Let's get a let's get a screenshot of this. All these colossal things in the background. All right. So that's not too bad. I mean, all things considered. I don't see any more quest markers on the map. Let's take a look at what we got here. Yeah, these ones. I see, so I missed some of these back here. I didn't do a lot of quests back there. Jeez. I have room for 48 more quests, so that's good to know. Alright, let's turn this one in real quick. Prophet of Soul Seeker. I don't think that guy was there before. <laughs> Alright, Argo Dunthar. 
Do you have the list? Yes, I do. Good work. I appreciate all that you've helped. You were given me here. Please take one of these tokens as my gratitude. If you could do at least one favor, I would be ever grateful. Thank you. What favor is that? The list need to be get or uh, need to get to Big Run K Rush at the West Fort Iron Toe. You probably passed through there during your last assignment. Just follow trail northeast of here. Uh, if you forgot on the way. Okay, I'll drop these off. Accept that quest. He's my commanding officer. Try not to mention how much you helped me if you can avoid it. All right. All right. So we got a quest reward, which is a charm, which is literally not an upgrade. We already had one of those. One gold, though. So that's nice. Accept that. So we're at 21 gold, 1 platinum. Oh, that is nice. Alright, so... Well, I guess we gotta go... West Iron Toe. Yeah, we need to go there. But, uh, I say we should save that for next time. Uh, we'll go up there. Uh, maybe I'll look and see if there's any quests I missed. And, uh, whatnot. But there we go. Uh, got a few... Got a little conclusion to that uh, quest we started with Hamish. Uh, killed his apprentice, got some stuff done. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and please have a fantastic day.